But let's go around, okay? And think what are what, what do you call it if if someone uh, does good things for others? If if they they help you, if they what do you call that? Who can say it? Mm, it could be saver or present. Okay, you give presents or you do favors. That's good. Anything else? What do you call it generally when someone when someone does a lot of favors, when someone gives you presents? It is they are very kind. Kind, yes, they are kind. So they are kind as the adjective. And if you if you want to talk about that action or the noun. Kindness. Yes, kindness. Kindness. Oh, okay, very good. Kindness. So a lot of kindness here. Okay, so Emily gave us some examples, you know, doing favors. Okay, so doing favors. So what are some favors? What are some examples of favors that you can do or somebody can do for you? So let's let's uh, let's get a little list of this. So let's start with Sehuna. What are what comes to mind when you think of doing favors? When I go, when I in a very strange area, and I think I ask the subdirections and. A flipper had very kindly let me know the way. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So you, you ask uh, for directions, they show you the way or they tell you the other way. Good. Good. And Michael, what's another example of doing favors? Mm. When um, somebody uh, help uh, you to do some strange thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, in the, in the, in the office, when your um, colleague can help you to do um, difficult thing. Yes. Yeah. When the colleague, yeah, exactly. He helps you. He assists you. You could say he helps you or he can say he assists. He assists you in when with difficult task. With difficult task. Okay. And uh, dream. What about an example of kindness or of favors or anything like that? Yeah. Mm, I think uh, kindness is when a friend lands your her coat for me when I, I have a wire, you know. Oh yeah, when you're when you're cold. Yeah, That's and cool. land for me, or I land for her or for him. Mm. I think this is a kindness. That's that's very kind. Yes. So they, you say not lend for, but just lend. So they lend you the 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 coat, the jacket. That's true. That's a that's a that's a that's an act of kindness. And Emily, uh, for example, I uh, broke my uh, tires. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone helped me to fix my problem on oh. the road. So you got a flat tire. I got a flat tire and someone helped me on the road. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, yes. That's... Um... Fix it, for example. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Yes. So let me ask you a question. This is more like um, your philosophical question. Okay. And maybe, maybe we can talk this with, you can talk with your, with your partner here before we do that. Think about mm, why or is kindness important? Why it's important? You could talk about work. You could talk about yourself. You could talk about um, your country or for a society. You know, so what does, what does kindness do? Okay, so just think about it. Yeah, why is it important? Or do you think it's important? Some people think, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not so important. Okay. So think about this. Why is it important? What does it do for you? Uh, what does it do for, you know, your country? Okay. So the question is why, why is kindness important? Okay.
So this one's just a short one, you know, maybe uh, one or two minutes. Okay, so discuss this with your partner. Uh, what do you think about kindness? Why it's so? Um, I think the, the reason kindness is important is that it takes that me fear or to warn me. Sometimes I get tired of the fear or the distance, but if someone do the kind thing. I think I feel better and I have, uh, I have gained to try another one. This one, my, I think it is important. Mm, very nice. Very nice. How about you, Emily? Yeah. Bird. Okay. So what about, oh, <laughs> let's talk about kindness. Kindness. So, uh, why is it important? Yes, kind, uh, kindness is very important because we have a lot of aggressive things near around us in the movie, in the news, in the newsletters. And of course, we need to, to be uh, more kindness. We need to be more kind. More, more kind and more friendship, more. Uh, more international friendship, mm -hmm. growing, growing our economy. What about you? Um, here in Brazil, we have a phrase, and the phrase is kindness generates kindness. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so let's get to a couple ideas here. So, Dri, you were telling us about this famous Brazil saying. Okay. So, what, yeah. what, what do they say in Brazil? In Brazil, we say kindness generates kindness. Oh. So, so, this is so good because if you uh, make something kind, uh, kind, kind things for mm -hmm. others, the others think I need to, to do more because. She give me or she makes for for him for me, for example. Of course, but so it's like a chain reaction. Yes. You you know you do something for someone and they're like, oh, I need to do something for him for the next person and the next person. Yeah, it's true. You know. It is beautiful. Yeah. Great. Great. Perfect. Okay. And so let's see. Um, what was one one thing that you discussed, uh, Huna? With uh, with Emily, that was interesting. Oh, uh, we have a same opinion on kindness. It is very similar to the career than kindness generates kindness, and it is about our interaction and that right duration. It's very very good. Mm, great idea, great idea, and uh, Michael. What was, what was something else that you, that you told uh, Dri or that, uh, yeah, was discussed? We, we talked uh, uh, about our oh, birds near, <laughs> near Dri Garden and oh, Dri said about kindness generates kindness. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not enough. Uh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. And Emily, um, kindness. Uh, we discussed that kindness is important because we are all connected, and uh, kindness is caring about others and doing things to help. Uh, I mean, to help uh, make uh, someone's uh, life better. Mm, okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, so perfect. So right now we're going to go to the, the PDF. Okay. And so this first one is very easy. Okay. You have, you know, some sentences here. Okay. You don't have to do all of them, but, um, 
the, they can be kind, they can be unkind, or maybe it depends on the situation. Okay. So for example, you know, the sentence is he had his phone in his hand all evening. Now it depends, you know, so, and then, and then you want to explain why. Okay. Well, because, you know, if you are with other people, then it's unkind, you know, it's impolite. It's not good to, to use your phone when you are, you know, with family and friends, but if you are alone, it's okay. Okay. So, you know, look at some of these. Okay. And kind of uh, you know, decide if they are you know, kind, unkind, or maybe if it depends. Okay. So you can do one and one, one and one. And let's, um, and I'm going to put this in the chat and it's the same one that you got, you know, in the email. Okay. So it's all right. So you can join your new partner. Oh, actually this one. Great. Okay. So join your new partner and do this exercise. Okay. Um, okay, the first example, he had his phone in his hand all evening. I think this is very unpolite thing. Is of course, is not unkindness. Mm. So if they are in, impolite. Impolite. Yes. Impolite. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And uh, Hina, you want to do the next one? Uh, yeah. She gave me a beautiful present for my birthday. And it is definitely trying to be. But she gave me a nice tea. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. And um, is it very common, you know, to give, uh, you know, gifts, a lot of gifts for, for birthdays, you know, in, in Korea? Yes, mm -hmm. it is not luxury things, but we just give us small things for the birthday present. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's, yeah, it's, it's true. It's very kind. Very kind. Okay, perfect. And Michael, next one. When I saw my teacher, I smiled at her. Mm -hmm. I think it's <laughs> maybe some uh, sex, but... Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think it's a good, it's a good kind. Okay. 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 And is, um, you know, smiling is, is, is it, uh, when is it okay to smile? Is it always good to smile or maybe in some situations? Yes. Some situations. No. I think a uh, smile is uh, in 99% of the situation are good. <laughs> That's really if. Uh, somebody uh, dead is not good, <laughs> yeah. but in other situations, smile the great. And um, I don't know, it's this okay, David. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. So, continue with this. I'll check with the other group. Okay, mm -hmm. wait one or two more minutes. Right, when I ask the player, that's true. Uh, yesterday I spent some time with my family. When my uncle looked at my uh, trousers, he said, green is not the best color uh, for you. I think it's an appropriate way to act. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think so that, uh, uncle can say such a. Uh, bad, like such uh, bad things to you because I mean only you can choose uh, what you want to wear. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's a, it, you know, in a, inappropriate. Inappropriate, yeah. Like, what, so what 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 would be the best way to say that if the uncle? If uh, I think that it's fanned. 
Mm. What do you think? Oh, no. For example, if, if the uncle doesn't like your, your pants, the, should he not say anything or is there a, a different way to say it? Oh, I think, uh, I, I mean, I would never say anything like that. I mean, because I mean, we see ourselves through the mirror and if like, um, uh, if someone will ask like, oh, how do you think about my uh, trousers? If they're good or if they're not, I would try to say that they suit you, but, uh, maybe like you can, I mean, wear like black or white ones because they are nice too. I don't know, something like that. I see. So not so direct. Yeah. And um, what was my problem? Inappropriate, right? In, in inappropriate. So, so in inappropriate. So it's in a, a, appropriate. It's, it means correct. Uh huh. Inappropriate means not correct. Hello. Oh, thank you. Okay. 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 Very good. And Dree, your turn. Okay. She cut the ball and walked away. Uh, for me, this is a little bit strange because um, in this situation, we don't have a context, but um, she cut the ball and walked away is like strangely. So inappropriate, the same. So what, what, what do you... So, happened in the story i maybe the kids are, are joking mm -hmm. and are having fun in the moment in the day and the the girl get the ball because she don't like something happening in this moment so oh okay i'm going bye bye i don't like to stay here more and i see I think this situation could be happened. Mm. So if we had, if, if this situation, I, I thought, uh, I said happened, um, this is unkind, you know? Unkind, yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. So continue one more minute. One more minute for this one. I ran to my friend's house to help. The floor and walked away. Well, I'm not sure what I, I exactly understand the sentence. Well, it, I think it is because when she and the, I played a game, playing a game, it, it would be on time because she walked away and not playing with me for another time depends. <laughs> yeah, so it depends on the context. Good, 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 awesome. And Michael? Yeah, the next. I, I run to my friend's house to help. Uh, it sounds great, sounds okay. Um, and I think it's kind. Okay. Okay, yeah. T typically it is, it is, uh, yeah, I think it's a hundred percent. Helping is always kind. That's true. Good, good, good. And, uh, and the uh, next one. I hired an apple in front of him and asked, are you hungry? But I think it depends because when he is definitely hungry and I joke, if I want to joke him, let being in here, it would be not good. So I, if I have a then to give him the apple, it'll be kind. Mm, I see. So it depends if you're joking or if you're serious. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And, and, uh, and Michael, next one. Especially if, uh, iPhone, uh, Apple is iPhone. <laughs> that's, <laughs> <broad>. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's good. Michael. Uh, he put the heavy bags in his neighbor's car. 
Okay. I don't know. It depends on situation. Of course. But it's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, of course, it's unkind, but, but interesting, interesting way, interesting step. So why does it depend? Maybe, um, maybe neighbor's car has more space. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and they uh, have arrangement mm -hmm. before the situation is okay too. But, mm. <laughs> but I don't know this is a uh, heavy bags. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's normal in all situations. Mm. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, let's see, Huna, do we have enough time here? Okay. Well, well, I think we have a, just a few, a few seconds left. Yeah. So, so it's okay. So we'll go back to the main one. All right, everyone. So welcome back. Welcome back here. So here's this, that was just a little bit of practice, you know, with the verbs in the past. So sometimes, you know, we use the present in the past. Okay. So that's just here. So here we have to, to help you, we have this formula. We're not going to do it right now, but basically, oh. basically here you have different categories. Okay. Mm. So for example, some of them, you know, are the same put to put. Okay. Those are okay. You know, some of them just only one letter changes, give, gave. Some of them have only the first two like have had or keep kept. Okay. Like this one, only the first two. So this, this can help you to remember. Okay. It doesn't, it's not a formula. It's, there's no way of saying, oh, if it starts with a G, then the second letter changes. No, there's no rule. It just helps you remember. Okay. So if you want to remember that, maybe you can do this exercise at home mm -hmm. okay, or after. We're now we want to focus on the speaking. Okay, so for this exercise, exercise number four, okay, there's two parts, two parts. First, what, first part, you want to match the picture to the question. Okay, so you go, oh, so what did you keep in your pocket when you were a child? Okay, I think it's a number, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then you can do those and then the second exercise is you want to ask your partner some of these questions, okay? Then the partner will answer, okay? And, um, and then you want to get a follow-up, one or two follow-up questions, okay? So for example, here, what did you keep in your pocket when you were a child? I kept. So I want to use the, the past tense. I kept stones in my pocket. Oh, did you collect them? Or why did you keep stones in your pocket? Okay. Did you keep uh, coins in your pocket? Okay. Um, and you can say, oh, no, no, I didn't. I just liked stones or I kept stones uh, to, uh, to play, you know, or something like that. Okay. So just, you know, you don't have to do all of them, but a few of them. You know, when was the last time you were ill and sneezed? Okay. Oh, you know, how long was it? How long did it last? Okay. So, uh, so yeah, two parts. First, match the picture. Second, ask the questions and then come up with a follow-up, a follow-up question. So you ask this one and then you ask a second one for more information. Okay. Good, good, good. So let's do this. Let's get a new partner. Okay. Perfect. So join your partner and do this speaking activity. Pretty good. So, can you start? First, start. Huh? Where 
Number A, what did you keep in your pocket when you were a child? It connected with、uh, number five, the pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you agree? I can't, I can't understand what you say. Can you,、ah. please? I think <laughs> you ask for me. Ah. So, so, what, so for, so, uh, uh you, know, you read number, uh, letter A, right? Yes. I have read number A. A and I said I think it would be connected with the number five picture. Ah, okay, okay. Picture number five, okay. So you, I answer the question. Actually, maybe first, for her. just、uh, you can just match the questions, and after you can ask the question. Ah, okay, okay. But not just put the, the picture. Okay, so the second is. Where did you someone give you a li leaflet? Leaflet. Leaflet. I think the the picture is number seven.、Mm, correct. Okay. And、um, question C. When was the last time you were ill and pleased? I think the picture matched with. The number four. Correct.、Um, what kind? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did you have in your supermarket trolley? Trolley? The last time you went shopping, the picture is number one. Correct. Yes. And what did you put in the boot of a car recently? Well, I think the number three picture.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, picture number three. You can, or you can also say trunk. Trunk. Yeah, so the boot, boot of a car is kind of more British, and trunk is more American. Okay. And、um, the next is where did you last take a lift? The picture is number three.、Uh, which one? So lift is the same as、uh, elevator. Ah, read it.、Yeah. So number six. Thank you. It, it can be a lift, like yeah, I know what you're saying. Like when somebody takes you somewhere, they you take a lift. Ah,、uh, yeah. I think this is、uh, in the car. <laughs> it can be. It can be. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Take a lift, or or give someone a lift. If you give someone a lift, you take them in the in the car. But this,、okay. this context, it's the the elevator. Thank you. Nice. Good. 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 Okay, Hina. <laughs> Be careful. Where did you see a truck? So truck is number two. Picture.、Mm -hmm. Correct. Ah,、uh, the last one is. What was the last newsletter you signed a job to receive?、Uh, is the number eight? Yeah, it can be. It can be. Yeah, I think so. Good, good, good. So now,、uh, choose. You don't have to ask all the questions. Just choose、huh? the questions that you want to ask, and、uh, and then ask follow up questions. Okay. So maybe maybe Dre, you can ask the you can ask Huna. One of these questions. Okay, you know,、um, what was the last newsletter you signed up to receive? Um, I, <laughs> I don't think I have signed any newsletter. Well, I just got many spam newsletters, mails a lot.、It. Just the spam, and I, I don't know when I agree that I want to subscribe or I want to agree. But 
many companies and many news companies, right? Mm -hmm. Send me a lot of newsletters to shop this or, or to look at this, like nice. that. Yeah, so just remember, um, so if you know, if sign up, it's, uh, if, cause if it's only sign, mm -hmm. it means like sign, but sign up means that you subscribe. So you, you use that correctly. Good, good, good. Okay. 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 So you, you didn't sign up for any newsletters. You just got spam. Mm. That's unfortunate. Okay. And if you want to ask, uh, Dre one of these questions. Oh uh, yeah. Dre, uh, what did you have in your supermarket story the last time you went shopping? Um, a lot of vegetables, <laughs> yeah. egg and bread. Uh, I think, I don't know, and it's some fruits I love, uh, it's bananas and papaya, so. Mm -hmm. my, my supermarket literally has a lot of big brains and healthy. <laughs> And, and Hina, can you ask a follow-up question? Okay. Do you like to cook by yourself? Oh, like the, it depends the day, it depends the weeks. Uh, but I like to cook with someone. I think we have uh, a moment and we talk and cooking. I think this is more nice than uh, cooking. Oh, uh, cooking a lot. Well, because so uh, I would just say a couple things, uh, Andrea. So you can say instead of more nice, you can say nicer. It's nicer, ah, uh, nice. And also uh, the preposition with it depends on. I always forget this. But it's okay. No <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. No Thank problem. you. Nursing hey. service. Wow, it's nice. Okay, my question. What did you put in the boot of a car recently? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put anything in boot of a uh, boot of my car recently. Yeah. Yes, I like when it's like uh, clean and uh, I don't have anything there. <laughs> but it's smooth. Outside of a uh, city, for example, as in my, <laughs> then I usually uh, put uh, some pets, some food, and uh, some kind of things like to be active uh, in a countryside, for example, some games. And I put all of them in the wood of my car. <laughs> Yes, we have a cold temperature now in Moscow there, and the, my uh, boot, uh, I had winter tires. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. mm. uh, haven't you changed them yet? Yes, yes, yes. I changed my tires on winter. <laughs> wow, good job, yeah. <laughs> and so the tires, and so you, you, you carry the, the, the tires? Yes, yes, yes. We need to move our tires from wind to um, summer tires and um, for example today we we had the the first snow yes. the second one <laughs> second <laughs> uh, i think the first <laughs> the main is the first uh, wow. Wow, wow so now you have the winter tires and where do you keep the summer tires um when, when you are not using them Yes, I have Dacha <laughs> and oh. I have a garage in my uh, other cities. But Dacha is like, a, I think that's a cottage, right? Yes, it's a cottage, it's a Russian cottage. Yes, it's a, yeah. yes. And, um, and now we, um, a lot of companies started to launch services for storage uh, tires mm. for money. For oh, example. I see. Yes. So you rent uh, a storage unit. Yeah, rent storage and uh, they have services for moving wheels and tires. Wow. Very, very, yes, very, very popular, interesting. 
but it's not cheap now. Mm. It, yeah. Yeah. Every, everything costs. Everything costs. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh. Okay. 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 Good. 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 All right. Ne next question. So who's, who's asking the next one? Um, Emily. Where did you last take a lift? Uh, tomorrow morning. Well, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Today's morning. Yes, sir. Oh, you used, oh, and now follow up, follow up, Emily. Uh, how many floors, uh, uh, how, how, uh, how many floors did it take to go down? Uh, yes. Uh, nine, nine floors. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Very nice. Very, very nice. So let's, uh, let's continue here. Okay. Let's continue here because we have a lot of great activities. So the next, the next activity here, we have some expressions. Okay. So here the, you want to match. Okay. This one with this one, and then you want to use it. You want to use the expression. Okay. So for example, you can talk, you can give a personal opinion. You can also, if you watch the video, you can talk about the video or you can just use it in, you know, any situation that you can think of. Okay. So for example, let's do the first one together. So walk and then which one from the second column does it go with? Away. Walk away, walk away. Okay. So let's say, um, which, um, that was a uh, dream. You get, you, you gave the answer, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, uh, can you use walk away in, um, in, uh, as an example or, you know, in a sentence? Okay. Um, I want to walk away to renex my, my yes. brain. Exactly. Exactly. I need to walk away to, to relax or to, yeah, to relax my brain. You can to say break. That, to have a break, to have a break. Exactly. So you do that, you know, just because these are good expressions, you know, so walk away. It's a phrasal verb. Say walk on, walk off, walk away, walk in, you know, walk through. Okay. But walk away is when you, you are in a place and then you just leave. Okay. So, the, so do that and, um, okay, good, good, good. That's it. And, and then we will do the next activity with the video. Okay. So here, just try to use these expressions. Let's recreate. All right. So join your partner and practice these expressions. Grant, Grant kept his uh, hands in his pockets because it was very cold uh, on the street. Mm, that's right. No. <laughs> no. Good. Dre? Well, the next is let's go off the, the balloons. The balloon, yeah. The balloon. So and the phrase can be here. Um, the kids lo uh, let, let's go off the balloons in the park. Go on the balloon. And the balloon, what happened to the balloon? Let it go. Yeah. So the kid, the kid let go. And you can say the balloon uh, flew, flew away. Flew. Oh, nice. Yeah. Flew away. Flew away. Yeah. Yes. And, and, the, and the kid was very sad after that. Yes. See yeah. <laughs> Okay, then Emily. Uh, pick up um, rubbish, I think. Correct. Um, I can ask my mom or 
like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> right now I'm with her. I mean, I can ask my mom, uh, um, like, oh, can you pick up uh, rubbish from home because I forgot about it? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. You got to yes. pick up rubbish at home. That's, that's important. Good, good, good. Andrew. The next is smile at a friend. Keep your hands in your pocket. <laughs> and I think uh, keep is, is uh, not uh, is irregular verb. Mm. Okay. But actually, actually, let's just uh, um, let you we let's focus more like on on matching. So keep the hands in his pockets and then maybe try using it, using it in a sentence. You know, so for example, I, you know, I was in the park and I kept my, my hands in my pockets because it was very cold, Something, mm -hmm. you know, so I think it's, it's better practice. So let's see. So Michael, you had that one. Yeah. You want to use it? Uh, is it nice? Yeah. Yep, or whichever one you want. Okay. Uh, donate blood. Mm -hmm. um, I have had two episodes, then I donated my blood. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was interesting experience, mm -hmm. but now I can't do donate blood. <laughs> F donate. Oh, sorry. So right now you can't donate. Yeah, because uh, I had a little bit not correct um, analysis of my blood. And uh, the doctor said, I need to stop doing it. I see. But uh, we, uh, uh, some other doctor said, is it okay? But uh, I think it's not, um, it's not a great thing for me, but I had, um, not popular mm. group of blood. Mm. Yes, and uh, my blood uh, is interesting for hospitals. Blood, yeah, you can say a blood type. Blood type, yeah. Yes. So what are you, o, o positive? Uh, it, uh, we, we had the different type. Mm. Uh, we had one, two, or three, and four type, oh, and see. negative and positive. And uh, I had the third negative. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Well, the third one, let's see. Because here we have, it's like A, A, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative. Then it's uh, A, A, B together, A, B, and then O. O? O positive. O positive. Only three? Three times? Uh, four. Four. It's A, A, B, and O. A, B, and O. Three. Yeah, but it's A, a B, and A, B. Uh, a, B. A, B, together. Yes, yes. I have A, B. A, B, wow. A, B and negative. Negative? Oh, wow. So that, I think that one is the universe one that you can give to everyone and you can receive from everyone. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think I have, I, my blood type is O positive and uh -huh. I can give to everyone, but I can only receive from O positive. Oh. Yeah. And you, you know, what, what blood type are you? My blood type is A positive. Oh, wow. Yes, it's, 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 it's very popular. Yeah. Right. Very, very popular. So I think that one is you can receive from everyone. Oh, right. But you can only give to A positive. Right. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Good, good, good. So continue here. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I, I say I'll pick up rubbish, right? Yes. Uh, I, I, ah, I heard the word they called clogging, mm. right? Mm. Clogging means uh, walking away and picking up some rubbish. It is uh, some environmental movement or some Thing like that, and it is very famous. It, it is getting famous. 
it's becoming yes exactly it's part of the environmental movement exactly picking up trash picking up rubbish right yeah. in soviet union time type uh, times uh, our parents had um a situation then everybody go to uh, saturday to pick up pick up a rubbish and trash now all right great 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 so so michael you you were saying you can share with the whole group what you what you started telling yes in soviet union time uh, times um our uh, our parents and uh, as a citizen had uh, the cleaning day mm -hmm. uh, spring for example in one of saturday of spring oh. and everybody needs to go uh, to streets and uh, pick up rubbish clean streets <laughs> and without celery <laughs> and that was like a, a program from the government no <laughs> yes but uh, government push people to to do it but without uh, without free <laughs> oh so you it wasn't optional no, no option. <laughs> and, uh, when I uh, when I go when I went to school, yeah. we had uh, the similar practice, and uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, they push uh, children to 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 clean <laughs> streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then uh, uh, Hune was telling us about uh, a movement now that's very. Tell us about that, Hune. Oh, from Newport, where there is now the global warming of for death, and so some kids were want to deliver to our temperate global temperature under the so one point five degree mm -hmm. from the one hundred years ago and. So they want to we have to reduce our plastics for some rubbishes and they have a global lot to pick up some rubbishes in the street or the rivers and clean the city. Mm -hmm. Right? That's true. That's true, that's true. Yeah. So it's it's the same it's a movement to do that. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. So that, now those are all examples. So let's, let's move on to the video here. Okay. So let's see, let me share the screen and we will. So before we look at this, before we watch this, so what, I think this is Portuguese, right? So, um, so what's the title? Uh, so Dri, tell us, because you're, you're, you're Brazilian. So what does this mean? <laughs> uh, uh, is, uh, uh, our word day to kindness. Oh, so the kindness and uh, how do you, day. So can you, can you pronounce this, uh, this, the, the title? In Portuguese? In Portuguese, yes. Dia Mundial da Gentileza. That's right. That's, 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 that's Portuguese. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, um, <laughs> so, uh, global, like the global or the world day of kindness, 2021, right? Okay. Awesome. So we're going to do this one. So we're going to start with Emily. Okay. And you're, what we're going to do is we're going to, to, you're going to describe what you see. Okay. So we're going to turn off the audio and you're going to just watch and speak. Okay, so Emily, what do you see? Uh, I see a tall man. Uh, he stays uh, in the elevator. Okay. And I see a girl there is uh, running the, uh, in a in a uh, in a huge corridor. Okay. And what is she doing? She is trying to go in uh, to the elevator, but the doors, uh, uh, I think that the doors uh, would be probably closed before she will go in. 
And what do you think the the man is? What do you see with? What do you? Th- you know, he's in Greece. He's looking at her. Just looking. Okay, very good. So now, Mike, your turn. Okay. So, <laughs> what happens? Um, I, I, um, I saw the, a very arrogant guy, but I think um, uh, he thought about uh, his decision, and uh, I think he said, "Okay, I, uh, I can uh, push the stop," but he didn't do it. Why do you think he didn't do it? Because uh, the doors uh, were closed. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good. So, so what do you see here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he had a bad day. Okay. Uh, yes. The small uh, lady. Mm, a lady or maybe a. Uh, Child. child, baby, yeah, baby, small baby. Uh, it's nice. Oh. She was she let go. Yes, yeah, good before before it. Uh, she's nice. I, I oh. don't know. Yeah, and um, the balloon uh, was was up. Yeah, flew flew away. Flew flew, and um, this guy. Um, uh, ignored the situation and um, continued yeah. to walk or walked away. Walked away like arrogant. Arrogant, yes, very arrogant. I thought, Nadri, look at the situation and then tell us what, what is going to happen. Can you can talk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so tell us. Uh, I see the man, and uh, uh, he went to put your buy thing in the car, but your supermarket trolley. Not your, but his. Thank you. His things in the car, and um, the the supermarket trolley, and um, can be. They start a movement in the streets. So the men pass in, in the side of the supermarket trailer, but uh, he can't do anything for this, this situation. Yeah, so the other guy is running. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So they say a trolley, the supermarket trolley. Trolley. You know, Thank you. Going down, down the street. Down the sidewalk, you could say. And Yuna, look at this situation and tell us what happened. Okay. Uh, Uma, I think she is a campaigner for some volunteers and she gives the little less to the guy, but the guy just ignores and walks. Away. That's right. That's right. Yes. So he walked away. He walked away. He didn't take, he didn't acknowledge her. All right. So, Emily, look at this one. Uh, uh, I think that the man stays uh, uh, on the crossroads. I mean, he maybe like it's uh, traffic lights or something. And then an uh, old uh, woman. Uh, caught uh, his uh, uh, hand, mm-hmm. and uh, they are uh, they are uh, crossing the road mm-hmm. together right now. And uh, oh, oh. oh, wow! And he uh, stopped the car with his hand. I mean. Uh, he he stopped it, and uh, now we see that the woman uh, smiled at him. That's right. He smiled. Yeah, she she touched his cheek. Okay, uh, Michael. Now, oh. <clears throat> oh, 
What's happening, Michael? Oh, we can't hear you, Michael. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, mm, he started to think that uh, he can he can live with day again. Right. And, um, yes, and uh, he saw uh, his story day uh, and um, started uh, from situation in the lift, on the lift. That's right. That's right. So he kind of replayed the situation. Okay. And then he did that. Okay. Very nice. And then, oh, yes. okay. So basically everything change is there he is in Dubai fishing <laughs> they're donating okay <laughs> and... hey have a... so Dree, tell us what do you think what is happening here um now <laughs> she she stopped he not sorry he saw the power of kindness and he went to start the guy um uh, to start this movement in his life so he put glasses and she it's... she I, I don't I, he i don't know that there she blind he he wants a blind guy so to he... start to... yeah so you said he, he... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Like he, he's pretending he is pretending he's to pretending he, is he pre pretend he's pretending <laughs> he's blind okay Gia Mundial da Gentileza right okay the world day the world uh, your yeah, kindness day okay so so here we're going to go to some questions here Okay, a few more exercises here. So to talk about this video. And so, of course, here, this is uh, some, uh, some grammar that you can do. We're not going to do it now. Okay. We're just going to go to the speaking part. Okay. So, so we, we discussed this right here. Okay. He was, um, and now discuss number 13. Okay. So page five. Okay. Why did the man, tall man change? Okay. Why did he pretend to be blind? Blah, blah, blah. And this is, uh, you know, kind of some philosophy things. Okay. So talk about the kindest person, you know, people in your town, you know, in, in Moscow, in Brazil, in Korea, are they kind or unkind and explain, give examples. It, is it ever difficult? In what situations is it difficult to be kind? And the very important one, how can you teach children, also adults, how can you teach people kindness? Is it possible to teach kindness? Okay. So discuss with your next partner this, these great questions, these great questions here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. In your opinion, why did the tall man change? Um, I think the tall man changed uh, because uh, he saw this old uh, woman. And maybe uh, she unfroze him uh, from <laughs> his coldness. Right. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's a good answer. Um, why did the tall man pretend to be blind? I think the tall man wants to uh, let the other guy know the kindness. So he just pretended to be blind and just like the old one. Mm. Yes. Yep. Maybe 
Good. Right? So, so, can I just remember, uh, we want to use the past. So, he wanted and he, he uh, pretended. That's right. He pretended to be blind uh, so, so he can show the mind, the show kindness, right, to the mind. Okay, great. Great, great. Next question. Great things cost nothing but means everything. Do you agree? Why or why not? Yes, I agree. I agree because I think that uh, kindness uh, is important and it can change a lot of things, even your mood and other uh, other people's uh, mood around you. And it can, uh, I, I don't know, it can take us to the better uh, place in the world. I mean. Mm -hmm. Great. Very great. Perfect. So continue. With this, I will check with the other group. Mm, uh, Huna, that start to use it, use her hand, uh, him hand, you know. So uh, before the hands stay in the pocket, and then he uh, the hands stay in the movement and help the others. So and I think he is about that. The guidance back to <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, kindness costs nothing, but means everything. Do you agree? Why? Why? Yes. Why not? <laughs> yes, I agree. Um, and I agree because uh, I love to uh, make a volunteer actions because the feeling uh, after is amazing in your body and you feel better. You feel a, a, a human better. So uh, for me, I think I explain everything. Uh, and this phrase, this is a, a true phrase. Yeah, it costs nothing. It's free. It costs nothing, yes. No. And it's better. Sometimes it's better than, uh, it's like better than therapy. Like you said, it makes you feel better. It's like, oh, wow, you feel positive, you feel good. So yeah, it's free. Yeah, it's free. When you donate your blood, it's like, uh, oh, this is, maybe I don't like to, to I, don't, I don't know the, the, the uh, oh, yeah. needles, the needles, but we will have, you, you we uh, will help others. So this is uh, the, the best. That's true. That's true. That's true. Great. And um, uh, next question, Andre. Why don't you ask Michael? Michael, how do you feel when people are kind to you? And when you are kind to them? Oh, I started from the last question. Um, for me, I don't feel um, a special emotion when uh, I... I was kind to another, but, um, because I think it's a normal situation for all people. It's not great. It's not bad. It's normal. But, uh, when I mm, mm, feel, um, that other people to was, uh, was kind for me, um, I feel that my, uh, her, uh, some open for this person, of course, I think this is my uh, best friend's thing. And uh, now I need to make uh, help and uh, for him, for her. And uh, my wife, uh, my wife said to me, Michael, stop. This is, uh, maybe this is not good guys. Maybe uh, he had, uh, he has a, a bad, um, bad, bad mind. Bad. But yes, mind and this is uh, maybe <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, sorry. Um, and we are very different in this point with my uh, wife. And, um, I see. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Next question, Michael. Okay. Uh, who is a kindness person? You know, if example of a of a kindness. Oh my God. 
really like I never think about about this. <laughs> so or maybe maybe not the kindest, but just tell us about what one one person that you know. One person who was very kind. Well, I think uh, in a lot of people is a kindness, kindness. Uh, um, I will talk about something. For example, uh, the people helped uh, in a volunteer. They have all uh, property, non property organization. Mm -hmm. I think these people dedicate your life in in a volunteer or in a, a good situation for the other. So I think this is a kind of good, a kindest person. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the people gives the money for help these the situations. I think this is a, a good person and help the others, mm -hmm. you know, I That's think that is a verb. You're right. You're right. Perfect. So about maybe one or two more minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It is difficult for the light in the video just to show the signless thing or let the children put the situation on that they have to be a kind thing. Oh, well, something is role play or big, yeah, and so on. I, I don't know. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, we are the best example, or we are uh, mm -hmm. an example for our kids. That's why they, uh, they just like, I mean, uh, see the situations and uh, they, catch uh how we act mm -hmm. that's why they uh probably will be just uh i mean just uh you and me do you know like uh, they will pick it up uh, from us that's why mm -hmm. we need to change ourselves if we need to mm -hmm. uh because they will follow our uh, model mm -hmm. in uh, this mm -hmm. society and sometimes maybe we don't uh, check ourselves and uh, mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to change anything else. Uh, that's why, I mean, maybe we can watch some cartoons and uh, read some books or maybe to to play some games. Uh, we... All right. All right, everyone. Welcome back. So right now, it's we just have one more minute here. So let's look at this list of things here. Okay. These are all. So have you, <clears throat> have you done any of these things in the past recently? Okay. And just tell us, just, just tell us, you know, one or two sentences, because we don't have much time about something that you did. It can be something from the, from this list, you know, or something else that you did in the past. You know, that, uh, you know, something kind that you did for someone else. Okay. So let's see. Uh, so Emily, let's start with you. Okay. Uh, yesterday I smiled, uh, at a neighbor. She smiled at me and it was very sweet. And, uh, in my past, I helped, uh, old, uh, people, mm. uh, uh, when they were crossing the street. Good. And uh, after that, I felt amazing uh, and the world uh, shined upon me. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Yeah, you're very, you're very kind. You're a very kind person. That's very kind of you to do. Great, Emily. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And uh, Michael, what did you do? All right. Um, all of we think uh, excluded uh, bake someone a cake. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I can do it. And uh, I um, haven't uh, signed up to volunteer. 
yet. You haven't signed up, okay? Yes, maybe in the future. And can you give us a specific example? Specific example. Specific example. When you donated money or when you helped someone cross the street. Um. Mm. This is an example. Hold the door for someone because our our elevator is very very old and or <laughs> she she the door are closing with very very slow and every day me and my neighbors hold the door. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good, good, perfect. Andre, tell us. Uh, I help someone cross the street uh, when an uh, old man can uh, get my help. I see. Can you, yeah, or when an old man uh, needed my help. Needed my help, thank you. And you helped him. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice of you, Dre. And uh, Huna, tell us. Okay, I shared the door for the delivery man because mm -hmm. he had a lot of boxes for deliver, so I just wait him go in and there's the door for him. Good, you held the door. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's very nice of you. Great. So so that's it. Okay, that's it for, for today. So very, very, very nice practice. Just remember to use the, the past tense. You know, sometimes we use the, the present for the past, but just the past. And yep, yeah, and just uh, kindness is, means everything. Kindness is the secret. Okay, and that's, that's what they for said. Sure. But, but have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 B